today we will see about uh, maize cultivation which are the different package of practices for maize uh, in crop production uh, maize crop is there which is cultivated uh, specially during kharif as well as rabi season we will see one by one uh, which package of practices are given for maize in this uh, presentation botanical name of maize is uh, jihya maize which comes under family gramini and as we know very well uh, gramini family also known as poesi uh, commonly maize is known as maka or maka and this maize crop originated from central america and mexico as far as geographical distribution is concerned uh, maize crop cultivated over a 185 million hectare area in the world with a production of 1040 million tons usa china brazil argentina and ukraine maize growing countries india stands next to usa uh, in case of area as well as in production in india karnataka madhya pradesh bihar rajasthan maharashtra andhra pradesh are the leading states uh, for maize cultivation in maharashtra सोलापूर पुणे धुळे उस्मानाबाद औरंगाबाद सांगली कोल्हापूर अँड अहमदनगर आर द मेजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच कल्टिवेट्स मेज ओव्हर ए लार्ज एरिया ना वी विल से इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ मेज क्रॉफ इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टन्स सिरियल क्रॉफ आफ्टर फीट अँड राईस अँड this crop have a very high potential as compared to other cereals this crop is also known as queens of cereal and uh, which is grown for grain as well as fodder purpose due to important ingredient Uh, due to important uh, nutritional quality maize crop used as a uh, ingredient in different rations uh, of swine poultry and other animals or 85% of the maize consumed as a human as a food chapatis popcorns biscuits green crops also eaten by roasting uh, and this is a uh, very popular among the farmers maize grains contains 10% protein 4% oil 70% carbohydrates 2.3% crude fibers 10.4% aluminosides 1.4% ash and uh significant quantities of different vitamins and acids maize is low in calcium and high in phosphorus now now as far as botany is concerned uh, root system of maize is, and which consists of uh, seminal roots crown or coronal roots and bracts or aerial roots seminal roots are temporary which consists of radical and number of lateral roots which arise at the base of the first node of the stem under the soil surface uh, crown or coronal roots they arise from the basal portion of the stem and these are actually functional roots they constitutes the principal part of the root system and gives a good mechanical support to the crop bras or aerial roots these roots arise from second 
third or sometimes fourth nodes above the soil surface. And the primary function is to encourage the plants. Stem it is uh, made up of 12 to 18 alternating nodes and internodes and is completely filled with pith. Each node bears a leaves and bud. Leaf the leaves are leaves of maize uh, develop alternately on opposite side of the stem. Each leaf consists of leaf blade and leaf sheath. Leaf sheath cover the internode and uh, parallel uh, venation we have seen in this uh, maize crop. Tassels. The tassel is a branched inflorescence consists of central spike and about 10 to 15 lateral branches. The paired spikelets, pedicillate and sessile occur around the central spike. Each spikelet contains two florets. Each floret is enclosed with a pair of thin scale lemma and pallia. Here, the top one of several or several axillary birds terminates in an ear capable of producing mature kernel. Each of these axillary birds covered with about uh, 8 to 14 modified leaves called husk and profile. The ear does not have lateral branches but uh, its thick axis called the cob is similar to the central spike of the tassel in that it produces multiple rows of paired spikelets. Climate Now this uh, maize crop we can cultivate under tropical and subtropical regions. This crop we can grow on throughout the year. It requires consider considerable moisture and warm weather from germination to flowering. The most suitable temperature ranges for germination uh, uh, to maturity are 21 degrees centigrade to 32 degrees centigrade. Extremely high temperatures and low humidity is not suitable for uh, this crop. The crop can be grown satisfactorily in the areas receiving annual rainfall of 500 to 750 mm. We can call this crop as a rain fed crop. Soil, uh, well drained, sandy loam, silty loam soils are very suitable for this crop. The soils should be fertile and porous, soils should be well drained and pH of the soil ranges from 5.5 to 7.5. The alluvial soils are very suitable for uh, maize cultivation. As we know, the most of the alluvial soils are well fertile, and that's why maize can grow better in alluvial soils. Now, land preparation uh, maize comes under bold seeded and uh, needs friable, well aerated and rough seedbed. Plow the land at the depth of 20 to 25 centimeter with iron plow during summer season followed by two to three crisscross harrowings and we have to add a FYM 10 to 15 ton per hectare before last harrowing so um, which will help to mix that FYM properly uh, in the soil. Now seed and sowing, always remember uh, under the head of seed and sowing, seven, six to seven points should be covered. First one, sowing time. Crop can be sown throughout the year due to availability of thermo and photosensitive varieties. And uh, uh, dates of sowing changed place to place. Kharif, uh, 15 June to 15 July, we can go for sowing the maize crop. During Rabi season, October to 15 November is the suitable period. And for summer crop, last week of January to last week of 
February uh, is the best time for sowing of the maize. Spacing 60 to 75 centimeter row to row and 25 to 30 centimeter between plant. Uh, seed rate 18 to 20 kg per hectare seed rate is uh, required which help to maintain plant population near about 65 to 70,000 per hectare. Now seed treatment, seeds should be treated with uh, thyram at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare of the seeds. We can avoid uh, seed and soil bond diseases. Methods of sowing, there are uh, drilling, dibbling and sowing behind the plow. These three methods generally um, used to sow this crop. But uh, sowing of seed behind the plow become nowadays become most popular because uh, this is a say time saving method as well as we can save uh, in this method sowing the seeds behind the plow seeds are dropped in a shallow furrow opened by a country plow and then planking is done to cover the seeds <coughs> after care after sowing thinning and gap filling uh, these two operations are most important if uh, plant population is high then we have to go for thinning after 10 to 15 days after sowing keep only one healthy plant at each hill at the time of thinning gap filling after uh, germination immediately we have to fill out uh, those gaps are there within 10 to 15 days after sowing growth stages different growth stages are there first one seedling stage this stage comes one week after sowing the plants have two to four leaves grand growth stage this is knee height stage of the plant this stage arrive 35 to 45 days after sowing. Tasseling stage and fluorescence, also known as tassels, that is male flowers, comes out at this stage. Seeking stage, uh, this stage is called as cob initiation stage, and uh, which includes female flowers. Female flowers or cobs are formed at this uh, silking stage. Soft dove stage, it is a milky stage, commence after completion of pollination and fertilization. If uh, we press the grains, then milky secretion comes out after uh, breaking of that grains. That's why known as soft dove stage. And uh, during this stage, uh, high protein content is uh, there in the cob hard dove stage it is a maturity stage leaves gets dried and yellow skill turns brownish and dried completely then we have to consider that this crop is uh, ready to harvest now nutrient management this crop is uh, this crop gives very good response to nutrients and that's why we have to apply 10 to 15 ton FYM well decomposed FYM per hectare at the time of land preparation recommended dose of uh, fertilizer for hybrid maize uh, is uh, 120 60 40 kg per hectare NPK and recommended dose of fertilizer for composite uh, is 80, 30, 20 kg per hectare NPK. Full dose of phosphorus and potash and one third dose of nitrogen 
should be applied at the time of sowing as a basal dose remaining one third nitrogen 30 days after sowing and when the crop is at a knee height stage and the rest one third nitrogen should be applied 15 days after sowing when the crop attains flowering stage now weed management it is most important aspect we have to keep the plot weed free during initial stages and so that we can avoid crop weed competition two to three hoeing followed by hand weeding depending upon weed infestation may be carried out to keep the crop weed free pre emergence application of atrazine or simazine at the rate of 0.75 to 1 kg active ingredient per hectare in 1000 liters of water should be done just before sowing before spraying of pre emergence we decide the field should be weed free and soil must contain optimum moisture irrigation management maize is very susceptible to excess water and moisture stress moisture stress during tasseling to silking stage uh, hamper the yield hence water stress should be avoided during these stages by supplementing life saving irrigation the total number of irrigations will depend on the rainfall distribution pattern as well as type of soil and growing season irrigate the crop as need generally 5 to 6 irrigations are required for this uh, crop now crop rotation um, rice maize then maize wheat or gram or pea maize wheat cowpea then maize potato onion then maize wheat green gram maize potato sugarcane maize potato maize maize wheat sugarcane these types of crop rotations are followed varieties um, first of all hybrids now ganga 2 ganga 11 103 deccan 107 pmh 19 that is parbani shakti pusa hybrid 1 pusa hybrid 2 kh 9451 then composites panchanganga prabhat kiran arun navjot pusa comp 2 then amber uh, is a variety popular for popcorn purpose and for sweet corn madhuri and madhumaka are most popular among the farmers harvesting and threshing maize is harvested when cob seed turn brownish grains become hard containing less than 20% moisture in hybrids and composites seed becomes brown loose and silk dried completely in most of the varieties plant remain green at a full maturity maize is harvested either by plucking the cobs from the standing plant or by cutting the stalk and then plucking the cobs from the plant the cobs are dried uh, under the sunlight for 7 to 8 days the grains are removed from the cobs by hand shelling or use of mechanical mesh sheller mechanical mesh sheller always time saving and labor saving method for harvesting uh, for threshing of uh, cobs yield from rain fed hybrids we will get 20 to 25 quintal uh, and uh, rain fed composites 15 to 20 quintal per hectare while irrigated hybrids give 50 to 60 quintal per hectare and composites give 45 to 60 quintal per hectare grains now pest management stem borer is the most important uh, pest uh, in maize nature of damage the young leaves young larvae feed on the uh, folded central leaves causing typical pinhole symptom severe feeding results in killing of central shoot and consequent deadhead formation 
to control this uh, stem borer you have to remove and destroy dead herds use of parasite uh, like trichogramma chilonis and granule in insecticide like carbofuran uh, at the rate of 10 kg per hectare applied in the leaf hole shoot fly nature of damage maggot cuts the growing point of cent or central shoot which results in formation of dead herds in seedling stage to control the incidence of shoot fly we have to apply 10% folate at the rate of 15 kg per hectare so now leaf roller nature of damage the larvae fold the leaves by silking thread the surface of the attack leaf become white and papery in appearance to control this leaf roller we have to spray 0.2% carbaryl in 500 to 800 liters of water per hectare now cut to m nature of damage larvae cut the seedling at ground level to control this cut to m dust 2% methyl parathione at the rate of 20 to 25 kg per hectare now white grub larvae feed on the roots of the plants and to control this white grub we have to apply for it 10% at the rate of 15 kg per hectare now we will see disease management seed rot and seedling blight symptoms poor emergence or patchy growth rotting of seed wilting of wilting of seedlings to control the seed rot and seedling blight uh, treat the seeds with a uh, thyrum at the rate of 3 g per kg of seed both are seed borne diseases by giving seed treatment we can check the both diseases brown strip downy mildew chlorotic to straw color strips on the lower leaves and sometimes on the upper leaves also Uh, we have observed to control by uh, to take a spray of 0.25% jeneb or mancojeb 75 wettable powder leaf blight in madis leaf blight spots are grayish oval shaped and torsicum leaf blight spot are grayish green or straw colored and boat shaped control major spray with jeneb or mancojeb at the rate of 2.5 kg in 1000 liters of water bacterial stock rot symptoms in bacterium dissolves the middle lamella of the cell wall resulting disintegration of tissues and plant collapses to the ground control major avoid water lodging application of bleaching powder along the rows and 20 to 25 kg per hectare pithium stock rot symptoms partial turn at any lower internode infected plant become soft at this point twisted and topple over ground to control uh, this pithium stock rot apply captain in poorly drained pockets of the field along the rows at the rate of 150 g per 100 liter of water black bundle symptoms uh, black dots on the cut ends of the stalk in severe cases leaves dry and plant wilt to control this black bundle uh, treat the seeds with thyrum at the rate of 2.5 g per kg of seed before sowing in this way we have in this way we have see the different package of practices of maize uh, now in references are given in this uh, slide bal subramanyam principles and practice principles and practices of agronomy agrobias publication jodhpur india then modern techniques of raising field crops by chidha singh handbook of Ag agriculture icar then textbook of field crop production rajendra prasad thank you when and all for listening this uh, lecture kindly finally uh, i request 
you to watch share like and subscribe this channel page thanks once again thank you